<laughs> so as as y'all might be aware, um, I'm still do I'm still working through that self imposed challenge of watching a movie a day. Yes. Uh, and I'm watching Bolto three today. I haven't finished it. Oh, I saw the sexy geese tweets a lot mm -hmm. today. Don't worry. <laughs> Good. The only thing I saw on Twitter today was sexy geese. <laughs> yeah, how's that sexy goose doing? Um, she has a uh, a jazz number about how much she wants to fuck the uh, the um, comedic re com comedic relief character. Mhm. Mm so that's where I'm at right now. What Honks. studio was Balto? That was Universal Animation. Mm. Back when you know they still existed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cuz I don't I don't think Universal Animation is a thing anymore. I don't think it is. I really like it. Huh? Is it a bad movie? <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> Balto 3 that much. Balto 3 what so happened? far, um I'm enjoying it more than Balto 2. All right. Which, from what I understand, so I went to the Balto wiki, you see, <laughs> because uh, Wikipedia doesn't have a. Uh, also, thank you, Paul Ben, for the gift sub. Uh, Venom Lad, you enjoyed that. Um, Wikipedia doesn't have an article for Balto 3. It's just kind of a footnote on the page of Balto 1. Balto 2 gets its own pa wiki page, but. So I went to the Balto wiki, and I was looking at Balto 2, and uh, there was an entire section for fan reception, <laughs> and it's just, it was written so bitterly, it's actually kind of funny. Just like, this person, I'm reading it, and I'm just like, this person is so upset about the very nature of Balto 2, and they're just like... Thankfully, Balto 3 came along and was much more well-received by the fans. And I'm just like, oh. I think because everyone just wanted to fuck the sexy goose. Yeah, I could see it. <laughs> There's a Balto. Wait, did, did you check the sexy goose's wiki page? I have not. Like, how lovingly do they describe her features? That's a good question. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I just started typing in Balto 3, don't worry. What's the oh boy, here we go. name? Stella. <laughs> Every time the name Stella comes up, I think of that, like, elementary school game of Stella Ella Ola. Stella at first comes off as a cougar type of female and the type that doesn't actually care oh. about Boris but just likes the attention. <laughs> oh so we're off to a good start. But as we see in Balto 3 towards the end of the movie, where she is looking for Boris along with Balto, Luck and Muck, that looks and the way someone acts or can act can be very deceiving. Stella has an incredibly round and thick body, with <laughs> large hips, thighs, and bust. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Oh. oh, I love fan wiki. Oh. I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. I love the notion that she has a thick bust because, quite frankly, her bust is the same size as the male gooses. There's, like, no difference there. It's just that... This isn't about him. She's, she's sexy lady goose. <laughs> Oh god, fuck. Okay, so we're small now. Where the hell are we? We're small now, and I believe... Oh. I think this is the Veil of Tears? Is what it, oh, is where okay. we should be? Alright. Um, I love crying. 